Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to The Second Shelf. And yes, 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 you saw that right to another book haul. Uh, in July, I did my July book haul and then I told you that it's my birthday in July and that I will probably do a second book haul uh, in July for all the books that I received or bought for my birthday. And I've never gotten around to it, which doesn't mean <laughs> that there weren't books. Lots of books for my birthday. So there, um, most uh, the, of the books I uh, bought myself in the sense that I got vouchers and then chose the books. But there were also friends who sent me books or who gave me books. And I will start with those. Um, and the first one is a non-fiction book, a new release. Uh, whoops. Uh, Lucy Cook, Bitch on the female of the species. And this book was just recently published 2021, 2021, yeah, 2022. Uh, and Heidi gave this to me for my birthday. Thank you very much. Um, we talked about this uh, in on Voxer uh, when it was released and it is about, uh, no, let, let, let me back up. Lucy Cook is a British zoologist. She published previous books about animals. Um, and this one is focusing on some misconceptions of what it means to be female in the animal kingdom. That maybe gender isn't that definite in the animal kingdom as we think it is. Look at humans, it's not. Gender fluidity and things like that, but also gender stereotypes, um, lesbian relationships, um, things like that. So I thought this sounded fascinating and I'm really, really looking forward to reading this one. Um, the next one was a present from Kim, uh, middle of the book March. Um, you all know her, of course, and you might also know that we are, we have embarked on this project together that we are reading Irish female writers. And um, I had this on my wish list and uh, she gave it to me for my birthday, The Long Gaze Back. Uh, it's an anthology uh, edited, as you can see, by uh, Sheenad Gleeson. Um, it's female writers' short stories. Um, and it's, uh, uh, you can see here the authors of the short stories. So it's quite um, a long list. And I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely excited about this. And of course, I will read this uh, together with Kim. And then two friends of uh, of mine here um, uh, in Cologne gave me this one, um, Bella Mackey, How to Kill Your Family. As you can see from this, it's the German translation, but uh, she is um, an English-speaking author. I have never heard of this. It's a, it's a crime novel. This is our author, by the way. Uh, uh, no, this way. Uh, she writes for Vogue. Um, and I think she's uh, British, yes, um, and the book is, by the way, translated into German by Stefan Glitch, um, and it's about, it's a crime, and it's weird, that's all I know, that's what they told me, the two friends who gave me this book for my birthday, um, and yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm always in for crime, but it's quite big, so I will probably not read it in August, because of my, you know, 30 books in 30 days, August. Uh, so that will not happen in August. Um, and then on to, to the books that I bought, ordered for the vouchers that were gifted to me by my mom and also by friends. Um, the, it's not, by the way, there will be, I think, 10 books. Uh, I bought more than that. But the other books that I bought, I'm not going to haul because those were all books that I had already read, either on script or uh, uh, on an ebook, and I wanted to have a physical copy. I think I already talked about one of the things that I bought. It was the box set of Becky Chambers' Wayfarer series. Um, I just wanted to have it, that on my shelf, and there are quite a number of other books like that. Um, and birthday for me is always a very good opportunity to buy 
superfluous books, so to speak, books I have already read, but don't own a physical copy. So anyway, just that you know, too much information. Um, the first one I saw on Sandy's channel, uh, Sandy from Miss Reads a Lot, and that is an illustrated version of the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas by Gertrude Stein, illustrated by Marianne Kalman. I'm not familiar with this artist. Uh, I had to, will have to check her out. Um, I don't, let me see whether I can find it. Yeah, it's illustrations like that. So I um, read this book, the autobiography of Alice uh, B. Toklas in the German translation long time ago, but it is in English on my thousand and one uh, books I have to read before I die list. Gertrude Stein was, was a poet. Uh, she lived in Paris and Alice B. Toklas was her partner. But this illustrated version, I would have never bought this for myself if, if it hadn't been for my birthday. So yeah, thank you, Sandy, <laughs> uh, for uh, pointing this book out to me. Um, the next one is a new release hardcover, and that's also typically something that I reserve, you know, for birthday gifts because I'm stingy <laughs> and they are expensive. And it's a book about um, um, Bohemian Greenwich Village and the secret club that sparked modern feminism. Joanna Scott's Hotbed, uh, like I said, published earlier this year, and it's just what it says on the tin. You know, if you follow my channel, that I love to read about uh, feminism, feminist history, and these women who had this secret club um, and were really important for the suffragette movement. It sounded fascinating. So, yes. Um, then on to the a little bit less heavy books, <laughs> not hardcovers, but still uh, books that I will cherish. And the first one is uh, a modern classic, Anne Radcliffe, uh, The Mysteries of uh, Udolfo, Udolfo uh, published in 1794. This is also on my thousand and one uh, book list. And it is a mystery about a young woman uh, who uh, comes has the unfortunate uh, fate of losing her parents and then she w was about to marry but she has to live with her uncle and it's all very eerie and gothic and danger and yeah it sounds like something that I might like but it's on the list anyway so yes uh, also on the list is Mary Renault I bought this one, Return to Night, even though Mary Renault uh, is most well known, I think, for her historical fiction about Rome, uh, people in Rome, uh, Roman Empire, uh, uh, emperors and things like that. Uh, but this, for some reason, appealed to me more. Um, it's about a, a woman called Dr. Hilary Mansell, <laughs> and this book is published was published quite some time ago so it's not a reference to Hilary Mantel um let me see 1947 so way before Hilary Mantel uh was famous so this doctor um uh, embarks on an, a new job uh, in a hospital and there she encounters Julian who has lost his memory and then those are the two protagonists uh and then plot ensues from there in i i I'm not that interested, maybe in if I am honest, in the historical fiction, Rome Empress. So I thought Mary uh, Reynold, I said Renault uh, um, earlier, I think it's Reynold, uh, but correct me uh, in the comments. But I wanted to include a book by her, and this sort of appealed to me uh, the most. Um, I also wanted to include a book about the Wyndham sisters, and I found this one, Claudia Renton, Those Wild Wyndhams, Three Sisters at the Heart of Power. Uh, so it's a biography of these uh, three women, published in 2014, um, but the Wyndham sisters, uh, Mary Madeline and Pamela, uh, were obviously Victorian. Uh, uh, and they were born into an immensely rich family, uh, but they also were very influential politically, even though women at the time, except for Queen Victoria, didn't really have any political power. I thought that's fascinating. I'm always fascinated um, with, you know, a family 
where the the especially women had powers like the Milton sisters and the Wyndhams. Yeah, that sounded like something that I would really enjoy. Uh, the next one is for uh, my uh, Irish Lit book club with Kim. Um, I think she hauled this book or she talked about this book because I hadn't known it, but uh, then I bought it, Good Behavior by Molly Keane. And again, I forgot uh, the 1981. So this is a book about rich people which is not some normally something that i'm you know drawn towards or inclined to buy but uh the description that kim gave about the author and because it's irish i thought i'll give it a try and i have to admit i love this cover as well so it's about a rich uh family um, it's the St. Charles, Charles family, but of course they have family secrets and it's not, all is not as, um, you know, shiny <laughs> as it seems. So uh, again, a buddy read with Kim in the future. Um, this is a book I've talked about before in the, um, mid-year book freakout tag thing when I was asked which book uh, that I was looking forward to already published uh, this year and I hadn't uh, gotten to and I chose this one Margot Jefferson's uh, new memoir constructing a nervous system um, I think Margot Jefferson is a really she's a, obviously a black uh, American author not obviously American but obviously from the picture black and as you, if you know her you know that she's a black author and i really uh liked a pre the previous uh book that i read by her also kind of a memoir and i think she's an interesting author she has interesting thoughts she doesn't put out that much work so when i saw this relatively also relatively short uh, memoir yes i wanted to have it and i bought it for my birthday book vouchers then another memoir, a book that I saw on Doris's channel, Doris from All the Books, who is now in China. She safely arrived in China, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to her, um, you know, uh, booktube, YouTube videos made in China. Um, and she talked about this one, um, a memoir called Birds Art Life, A Year of Observation by Kiyo McClear, McClear. Uh, published a couple of years ago, um, and she is a novelist. I have had never heard of her. A novelist, essayist, and ch children's author, born in London. Um, and this is a year, like it says uh, on the tin, a year that she spent watching birds. She's not a professional bird watcher by any means, but for personal reasons, she needed something, you know, focus her mind on and it was bird watching and that also because as you can see bird art life had something to do or had influence on her uh, life as an artist as a writer but also on her life as such so yeah and Doris really loved it so I'm looking forward to that then we have another not a biography but historical fiction after I just said that I'm not that fond of historical fiction, but that was romance. And this is uh, Anya Seaton's The Winthrop Woman, which was published in 1958. And spoiler alert, I have read this one already and I really enjoyed it. So it is about um, this woman, Elizabeth Winthrop, uh, who was born in the 17, in the 17th century in England. Um, um, very, uh, pure puritan family um and she immigrated as one of the first so-called settlers to the u.s in one of the first ships so in in the in the mid 17th century so this is book partly a historical fiction about her youth uh but it's also about these first settlements and i i find that fascinating um and this one by the way, is also on my list for the thousand and one books 
I have to read before I die. And the final book is another essay collection, this time by Angela Davis, Women, Culture, Politics, also published, I think, in the 80s. Uh, let me check. Yes, 89. Um, I love uh, Angela Davis's work and also, you know, her activism, but her work about feminism and and racism, I think her essays are just really excellent. And this is a collection of essays and speeches about these three topics and also the um, connection of these three topics. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Maybe uh, I will even read this um, in August. It's not uh, too long. I think it has yeah 20, 223 pages. We'll see. We'll see how I how I go with the 30 books in 30 days and I'm not going to put the, the have the the stack again because <laughs> it, it was already enough of an effort for the thumbnail uh, because uh, I'm always afraid it's heavy and I'm I'm not good at that. I don't know how people do it so that the books when I start doing it, it's either like this, upside down, or it's like crooked, and I don't know how. So I'm I'm just not good at that. So I did it for the thumbnail, and I'm not doing doing it for the end of the video. But this was my main birthday book haul. Thank you for uh, the gifts that you gave me, Heidi and Kim, and the two friends that live here across the street, and. Thank you, of course, friends and mom who gave me vouchers. I was really happy to pick all these books. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm looking forward to your comments, especially if you read any of these books um, and want to share your opinion. And I'll see you all soon in the next one.